already called the head office. You're off this case. And I want you out of Pineview by the morning. Oh shit, did we fuck up? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I fucked up. I'm sorry, Diane. Detective? Are you sure you'll be okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. This is just a little bit scary. We'll tackle this tomorrow, right? I'll speak to Sheriff Harris. We'll sort it out. I'm sure the officers we've sent out will find Father Smith. Okay, Michael? Uh, yeah, yes. Get some rest. We'll, we'll fix things tomorrow. No! I, I'm having ghost problems. Hey, Michael. Time has finally come, huh? I've waited so long for this. Abigail, we had him. We almost had him. But you don't. It's over, isn't it? It... Yeah, it is. No, detective, it isn't. I mean, you decide for yourself what you want to do with your life, you know? Don't worry, Michael. You'll only be happier with me. Don't take the sleeping pills. Did I fuck up? Did I lose the game? <laughs> I hope not. Okay, probably I did. Well, I guess I died. Can I move? Yep, I can. Woohoo! Okay, let's fly in sp around in space a bit. As long as we can, I guess. Yeah, if this is an end that we got, I'm not really happy about it, honestly. Where do I fly to? I don't know. Up, down, back. <laughs> Flying back looks weird. Where did I go wrong? Was there something I didn't notice? Do I have to stay in this? this? Is the right thing I'm doing? I don't really know what's going on. I guess it's meant like that. Following a path. Oop. Where's the next one? Down here. Going to meet Diane, I guess. Not what I intended to do, but... Uh, it's an ending. Probably we'll snap out of this. Probably we're not dead yet. Probably someone will rescue us. And uh, get us to throw up our sleeping pills or something. Would be nice. Oh, there's something. There's a bird. Yep, I fly back all the way. That's not me doing this, by the way. It's a game. Where is it taking me? Back to Pineview? Back to a forest. Okay. I lay down here. I have no other choice. What? Shit's burning! Why the hell is it on fire? Yeah, I don't look great. Hello? Am I alive? Am I dead? What the heck is going on? I thought it was over. Good that it's not. Good morning? Where on earth am I? Yeah, and why do I hear weird music? Ugh, my head. Yeah, let's have a smoke. Good idea, detective. Nope, you don't. No, stop it. Even in your dreams you don't smoke. Can't climb back up. I'll have to find a way down instead. Okay. So probably I'm fighting. I'm fighting the sleeping pills right now. Oh, there's the lamps again. A traffic light. In the woods. A 
finally lost it, haven't I? Either that or someone's playing a really dangerous game with me. Or this is a little bit of your subconscious. Oh shit, I'm falling down. Whoa! Ugh. Okay. Look, there's a drop. Maybe I could climb down using the tree. Maybe you could. Yep, you fall down. This happens in dreams, <laughs> not in real life. Oh shit. What's this? What the heck? How did that. Wait, that building. I've seen it somewhere. It's probably where you lived, my boy. Steady now. Probably don't run on this part. Okay, we did it. What's this? Whoop. Hey, why are why is this moving away from me? Come on. Here we go. No, a place. It can't be. This isn't happening. Okay, it's revisiting some things. No, this car. How did it get here? Abigail. What are you gonna do now, Michael? Why are you doing this? You lost. You failed the case. Here it is. Here's the truth. Can you keep running anymore, Michael? Is it possible? Come here. Come to me. I can't fly, Abigail. How am I supposed to? Oh, apparently I can. Are you gonna keep your promises? Are you gonna run? Are you gonna look at me? Give in to what you did. Time's up. I... It's not so bad after death. Don't you want to be with me again? Don't you feel responsible? How can you let me go and keep on living? I just do. I think I want to stay. I want to... I want to fight. There's something within me. A voice. Other than yours. It says I can fight. And I must fight. Fine. But remember, if you fail again, you'll exhaust your spirit. There will be nothing left of you. You'll come with me. I know you will. You know it was your fault. I'll be waiting. No! It wasn't my fault! I have to stop doing this to myself. Leave me. Leave me live. Go away. Oh shit. <laughs> Quick time pets. Shit, my my nightmares are um, something else. Oh shit, there really was a fire. Any news about Michael? Nothing yet. He seems to have completely disappeared. Oh, I'm so worried. Where could he possibly be? I've got a couple of men looking for him. Uh, oops, now that's him. Sorry, I was just a little bit um, taken off guard by actually the place burning down. I've got a couple of men looking for him, without the chief's permission, of course. Um, say, what was up with the sheriff yesterday? Have you ever seen him like that? Gosh, never. He didn't hesitate. Officer. Find anything? I think I found what, how the fire started. The cigarette was used. That's not how it normally goes. The cigarette would also burn, you know. That's not... You don't find out how the fire started that easily used it was arson someone deliberately tried burning this place down wait that's normally you have it takes months to find out what started the fire what is it that's the same that's the brand michael smokes what the heck sir we found him oh thank god listen don't mention the cigarette to him for now you don't trust him I do, but we don't know what state of mind he's in. Okay. They're covering for him now? Oh god. Detective, where were you? Are you okay? I'm clearly totally okay. Jeez, you look beat up, detective. You need a doctor? Um, Michael? Michael, what's going on? What was that? 
Camera? Hey, who's clicking photos in here? Camera? Oh, I wonder if they let the press in. Blunt, we've got to catch him. Who? What? Who? What? Wait, detective, where are we going? Electrical storm. I've got an achievement. Okay. It's, it's gonna be Johnny, doesn't it? What? Why? Because of the cam? Yes, the camera. It, it's gotta be him. We don't have time to lose Blunt. But, detective, it, it could even be... Wait. Hold on, what's that? Photos. He leaves those behind. Blunt! Look at this. I'm sure this is from Johnny's camera. Oh god. What? He was spying on them. Oops. I thought I'd find you up here. Hey, baby. I missed you today. I've got so much to tell you. Oh, Diane, we must made such good progress today. The boys and I were talking about... Chris, I, I was thinking... Could we go out tonight? It's been so long since I ha had you last to myself. All right. Oh, please. Don't act like I'm twisting your arm. It, it's written all over your face. You want to stay in, huh? I'd prefer it, to be honest, yeah. Uh, I can't believe you. Here we go. You spend all of your time on site. I, I'd really appreciate I can't deal with this today. Seriously? Seriously. I ask you to go out to dinner and you react as though I've asked you to pull your own teeth out. It's not fair. No, it isn't. You're so unbelievably selfish sometimes. Let's not fight, please. Who said we're fighting? Is that all you expect from me? You can hardly blame me for that. I, I just never know what's gonna set you off. You know, I have to guess which version of you I'll be coming home to. I just love playing that game on my commute. Will it be happy Diane? Loving Diane? Will I be stuck with cruel Diane or the extra special mopey Diane? Who, who knows? You're being mean. Oh, am I? I didn't realize. Stop overreacting. Maybe if we communicated like normal people, I wouldn't have to. Well, how about you pencil me into your diary for next week, huh? Then we can talk all you want. Do you know why we always end up here? Every damn time? Because I can't talk to you. I can't. I have to keep it all bottled up just in case I step on one of your precious eggshells and piss you off. I just ask you for some time. Is that too much to ask for? I wasn't even pissed off earlier, you know. Not until you freaked out for no reason and started bracing yourself for an argument. I'm not a monster. Stop making me out to be one. Yeah. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry, okay? I'm going to sleep. Jesus Christ. What else should I do? I don't know. Care about me? About other people? The world, the sky, the bloody coastal infrastructure. It's all beautiful, right? I should try harder. But you have to stop fucking with my head like this. It's not fair. How could you accuse me of something like that? You talk at me, not with me. About bricks and evening entertainment and wallpaper swatches. When you do come home, rarely on time I might add, you talk about your, colle your colleagues more than about me or our families. What do I have to say in return? Oh, love. I read such a good book yesterday. I had dreams too, remember? But then we return to the hotel. Always back to the bloody hotel. If I can't win out over a goddamn building, then, then I don't know if I can carry on. No. Enough. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm done for the night. Was this? Oh no, it's not the night. Okay. Hey Chris, what are you up to? Hey you, what are you up to? Hmm. Just listening to some music. Oh. Is it a new album? Hmm. Are you mad? No. <laughs> Could have fooled me. I've been all quiet and distant. What's wrong? 
I do love you, you know. Sure, Diane. Chris, you really doubt that? Sometimes, yeah. You mean everything? I don't know whether to trust uh, whether to trust your feelings, Diane. I don't know whether you really mean the things you're saying right now. Chris, please don't say things like that. Well, what do you want me to say then? Because whatever I do say is wrong, according to you. I don't mean most of the things I say. Then learn some goddamn self-control. I'm, I'm not punching a bag for all the things you may or may not mean. No, you shouldn't. You, you shouldn't have to deal with me. I'm terrified that you'll leave me. I don't know what I'd do if that ever happened. Diana, I don't want to leave you. But you keep doing your best to make me. You tried to break it off, D didn't you? Break us up, why? I, I didn't mean it. I guess I just wanted to piss you off or, or hurt you. Well, you were successful in doing that. Looking at you right now, I want to believe you, but you keep confusing me. Don't pay any attention to the things I say when I'm angry, Chris. I, I don't mean them. I, I try. Can we forget this happened? Already forgotten. Hey, how about we go somewhere? Why? Come on, we've got a car. Let's drive to the next town over and watch a movie. Maybe we can stay the night somewhere and, and drive back to Pineview in the morning. Remember how special you thought that drive was when you got me here from home? You kept saying how beautiful you thought the hills looked in the morning light, remember? Yeah, that was beautiful. Well, let's go. <sighs> See, Diane, you get these things about me. I want us to be this way, Diane. To inspire and pick each other up, not break us down. Chris, I've told you before, I don't want to break you either. Smooch. Okay. God. Why was he watching them? Taking photographs and writing notes about them? Only he can answer that. Come on, we need to find Johnny. He lives on Overlook Street. Well then, let's hurry! What, what the hell? Why are there photos? Why was there a photo? Why? Why? <laughs> In general? Did, did the whole hotel burn down or was it just my room? I hope the hotel is okay. Looks okay. Good. Uh, run! No music anymore. Just dead silence. Central C where? Wait, where does he live? Oh shit. Overlook. Overlook Street. Where's Overlook Street? We're on Overlook Street. So somewhere here. This it is this is it. This is where he lives. Oh, this is Mrs. Brown, yeah, he lives with her. Oh, detective, come in please. How can I help you? Mrs. Brown, is, is Johnny home? Yes, he is. He just came in a minute ago. Uh, what's this about? <sighs> we just wanted to ask him a couple of questions. Just basic things, as always. Oh, all right. He's up in his room. Uh, go get him. Uh, make yourselves comfortable, please. Uh-oh. He'll probably run away. Detective, where on earth were you today? And why do you look like hell? Yeah, um... What was the whole thing with the hotel burning down? Where was I today? Um, I don't know. Was I gone the whole day? Amy, to be honest, I have no idea. I had the weirdest dream. And I'm not even sure if it really was a dream. I might have sleepwalked into the woods. I I'm not sure. What the hell? I'm not sure how to react to that. And the room? Any idea why it was on fire? I don't know. Maybe... It was short circuit. Someone wanted to kill me. Maybe it was accidental. A short circuit. It's a good thing I wasn't in the room then. Hmm. 
detective, you had nothing to do with the fire, right? What? Seriously? No, I didn't. Just making sure. Wait. Oh god, did I? I can't remember anything. What's taking them so long? I can't sit still. I I'm gonna walk around. I hope Mrs. Brown doesn't mind me smoking in here, but goddamn, do I need one? Ah, right now I'm on board with whatever makes you feel better. Yeah, I'm afraid that Johnny is going to do some something stupid. I mean, more stupid things than he already did. I haven't eaten anything all day. We we'll grab a bite once we're done with this. This might be a while. Where are the stairs? I wonder what's taking them so long. Hope he's not planning to escape from a window or something. I'm not. I'm in no mood to run. Can I? Shit. I thought I could go up the stairs, but I can't. So. Smoke? What do I need to do? Is it this? What do you want me to do, game? Wait. Smoke? Wait. Something different? Oh, look at photographs, probably. Any idea who that is? That's Mrs. Brown's late husband. He died in a war only a few weeks after Johnny's father was born. She was very young then. She's had to take care of her family all by herself since. Mom says she opened her shop mere days after his death as there was no one else to put food on the table. I'm assuming that's Johnny's parents? Yes. What happened to them? They died some nine years ago in a car crash, apparently. It's just been Miss, Mrs. Brown and Johnny since. She's known to be a strong, rigid woman around Pineview, but she cares a lot for him. Detective? Johnny's refusing to come down, but that's alright, you can go up and talk to him. He's busy with his photographs, you see. He's got a little space, a place in the attic where he develops them. Thank you, Miss Brown. I'm afraid of what's going to come now. Well, how exactly did you fuck things up, Johnny? And this is a little bit creepy. Why did you hang up so many? Can I look at them? Oh no, there's a low humming undertone that I don't like. I've got photographs of other things around Pineview too. It's only the past couple of months that I started taking Chris and Diane's. They stood out in contrast to the rest of Pineview. Shows in the photographs. <laughs> Looks like an obsession to me, Johnny. Not obsession, just curiosity. Look at this one, detective. That they had an argument that day, but it, it was different this time. 